I'm saying that's what this is all about, right? Clothes, bank rolls, and hoes, you know what I'm saying? Yo, then what, man? What? Visualizing the realism of life and actuality. Fuck who's the baddest? A person's status depends on salary. And my mentality is money orientated. I'm destined to live the dream for all my peeps who never made it. Cause yeah, we were beginners in the hood as five percenters. But something must have got in us. Cause all of us turn to sinners. Now some rest in the peace and some are sitting in San Quentin. Others such as myself are trying to carry on tradition. Keeping the swap of Western Street ghetto Westerns inside us. Cause it provides us with the proper insight to guide us. Even though we know some. Somehow we all gotta go, but as long as we leave and leave and we'll be leaving with some kind of dope. So into that day we expire and turn the vapors. Me and my capers, I'll be somewhere stacking plenty papers. Keeping it real, packing still, getting high. Cause life's a bitch and then you die. Life's a bitch and then you die. That's why we get high. Cause you never know when you're gonna go. Life's a bitch and then you die. That's why we puff lie. Cause you never know when you're gonna go. Life's a bitch and then you die. That's why we get high. Cause you never know when you're gonna go. Life's a bitch. 
it, then you die. That's why we puff lie. I woke up early on my born day. I'm 20 is a blessing. The essence of adolescence leaves my body now freshen. My physical frame is celebrated because I made it. One quarter through life, some godly like thing created. Got rhymes 365 days, annual plus some. Load up the mic and bust one. Cuss while I puss from my skull because it's pain in my brain. Vain money maintained. Don't go against the grain, simple and plain. When I was young at this, I used to do my thing hard. Robbing foreigners, take their wallets, they jewels and rip their green cards. Dip to the project, flash in my quick cash. And got my first piece of ass smoking blunts with hash. Now it's all about cash in abundance. Niggas I used to run with is rich. Are doing years in the hundreds. I switched my motto. Instead of saying fuck tomorrow, that buck that bought a bottle could have struck the lotto. Once I stood on the block, loose cracks produced stacks. I cooked up and cut small pieces to get my loot back. Time is ill, mad. It keeps static like wool fabric. Pack a formatic to crack your whole cabbage. Life's a bitch and then you die. That's why we get high. Cause you never know when you're gonna go. Life's a bitch and then you die. That's why we puff lie. Cause you never know when you're gonna go. Life's a bitch and then you die. That's why we get high. Cause you never know when you're gonna go. Life's a bitch and then you die. That's why we puff lie. Cause you never know when you're gonna go. Life's a bitch and then you die. Eternity, oh, 
a change for once in my life. It's gonna feel real good, gonna make a difference, gonna make it right. As I turn up the collar, on my favorite winter coat, the wind is blowing my mind. I see the kids in the street. Not enough to eat Who am I to be blind Pretending not to see them need I saw us disregard A broken bottle top And a one and so They follow each other On the wind, you know 
another exciting episode in the life of the most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known. Benton Harper works as a shoe clerk Monday through Friday for a large downtown department store in Midland City. However, on weekends, his only two days off... He dons the weird costume of a fantastic feathered fighter to strike terror into the hearts of criminals as Midland City's white-winged weekend warrior, Chicken Man. <laughs> In today's exciting episode, we find the feathered fowl after a fruitless search for the vicious strangler on his way back to Midland City Hall. <laughs> All right, step to the rear of the bus, please. Does this bus go to Midland City Hall, driver? Ah, uh, yeah, it does, Mac. Thank you. Pardon me, madam. Is the seat taken? No. Thank you. Hey. Yes? Watch what you're poking those wings, will you? I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was doing that. Hey, ain't you chicken man? Yes, I am. That's what I thought. Listen, let me ask you something. Of course. How come if you're chicken man, you don't fly instead of taking the bus? Well, you see, I believe it is my sacred duty to use my rare gift only when striking terrific terror into the hearts of criminals. You can't so that... fly, can you? No, you see, it's not that. Hey, easy. yeah. You know what you McCord here can't fly? No kidding. Hey, hey. Yeah? You know what you McCord there can't fly? He just told her. <laughs> What's the wings for, then? What's the wings for, then? Yeah. What's the wings for, then? Good citizens, allow me to explain. I do fly. However... Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, it, 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 it is funny. It is my conviction that I should only... Oh, during oh, times of... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I understand your point of view. However, you must understand my point of view. Well, how's the feathered fighter going to handle this little twist of fate? Consider his alternatives. Can he run? Yes. Can he jump? Yes. Can he swim? No. And more important still, can he fly? listening tomorrow for another exciting episode in the life of the most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known. Uh Uh-uh, don't touch that dial. There's excitement galore coming up in the next hour when you'll hear... During another exciting episode of Chicken Man. He's everywhere! He's everywhere! The most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known.